everybody. Hope you're having a great day so far. Today we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 through 3. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is my first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on earth. And so God gave us a few things to help us uh, have that long life on earth and to honor our mothers and our fathers. And one of those is the Ten Commandments. So God gave us ten things that we should do to be able to honor our parents, honor others, to be able to have that long life. And I know sometimes we don't like to uh, have to obey those Ten Commandments, but Daisy and I are going to show you some reasons why you should. So you can go and look at the Ten Commandments uh, yourself, but some of the ones that we will look at today are honor your father and mother, do not steal, and do not be jealous. Um, and we can do that with Daisy. Now, when you get a dog, uh, you want them to be obedient. But just like us, we don't come out as a baby knowing right from wrong, things are hot, things are cold, we shouldn't run out in cars. We have to be trained. We have to learn those, and those come, those learnings come from our parents, often in the form of the word no. And I know we don't always like the word no, and dogs don't always like the word no. But when you get a dog, they don't come out knowing how to sit and stay and not jump up on people. They're like crazy little people or crazy little dogs. They're just all hyper and they want to get in your face and jump on everybody, scratch, bite, whatever. And that's not acceptable behavior either, even from a person. So, Brandon McMillan, who runs Lucky Dog Ranch, has these seven commandments that he wants all of his dogs to know. He's a professional dog trainer, and his seven commandments are sit, stay, down, come, off, heal, and know. But I extend those three, those ten commandments with three more. Leave it. Back, 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 and wait for it. So let's see what it looks like for a dog to be obedient, and we'll talk about why we want them to do it, and you as well to do it. So Daisy's doing the first commandment right now, is to sit. She's been doing a very good sit. She hasn't been wanting to do anything else. She's remaining. So when somebody tells you to sit and stay still, this is what sit and stay still is. And you can sit for quite a long time. Now, next one is stay. If I were to drop this leash, and I say, Daisy, stay, I should be able to walk away because she knows what stay means. And she is staying just fine. And now she's not. And that's part of training. So we have to come back. And I, again, should be able to walk away. And I could even leave the room and she still, still should be sitting. And our next command is down. Daisy, down, down. So, again, we have to train. We always don't do it right the first time. So let's put Daisy in a sit. Oh, you're sitting. Good. Down. Good. Down. Stay. So again, she went step, stay, she, uh, she's down. Now the next command would be to come. Daisy, come. Sit. Good girl. And when you do things right, the Lord treats us and so does we treat the dog. Okay, now the next one off. I'm not going to have her jump on me, but if I had someone else, and she might want to jump on them, all I would have to say is off, or if you don't want them to jump on your couches, or furniture, or your bed, you just say off. And off means to not uh, jump or get off. Um, heel, 
So when we're walking with a dog, yeah, so we're gonna walk, we're gonna heal. We always start with a sit off. The girl, there she went off. Yes. Um, so heel, we want the dog to always be on our left side and not too far away from us because we don't want them pulling. So Daisy's head should not should be about with the seam of my pants. So let's just heel. Heel. And you can talk to your dog while you're doing this. And no matter how fast you're walking or how slow you're walking, heel. There's no rain. And then when we're done healing, she should sit. And she does. Very good. Now the next one is a no, with no means to follow it up with another command. Or else they don't know what no means. You don't know what no means either. So if I just say no, and she's barking, and she's jumping up, and she's being obnoxious, what part of the no does she not understand? So when you use the word no, always follow it up with no bite, no bark, no jump, no whatever it is. Now the next one, it's a pretty good one. Um, it's back, back, back. And it's not easy for dogs to learn to walk backwards. But if you were at the door and somebody came to the door and they're jumping at the door and they're barking and you say no, again, what part do they not understand? And so you want to say back, back, back. That teaches them to get back away from the door. But how do I do that? I'm going to go in front of them. And so when I give Daisy her breakfast or her dinner, I make her sit and I put her bowl in front of her with her food and I'll say, wait for it. And then she'll know she's going to get it. So she's quite happy to wait for it. So let me put some treats on this plate. Wait for it. And then the command that she can get is, okay. She's going to eat all of those. And then one of the most important commands for dogs, just like it is with people, is to stop what you're doing immediately. Usually because it could mean danger. Don't run out in the car. Don't open the door. Somebody's uh, pulling up next to you. And with dogs, it can mean a lot of things. If you dropped a bottle of pills on the floor and it opened up, you don't want them to Eat, eat them and get them. It could make them sick if you drop other things or if they want to go chase something. Um, they don't know what no means or no stop, no chase. So we use the word leave it. And leave it means they stop immediately doing what they are doing. And so we're going to tempt, tempt Daisy with this nice bone. She loves these bones. Leave it. Leave it. Notice that she didn't, she started to go after it, but I told her to leave it. She would like it. Go ahead, Daisy. Sit. Sit. The girl. Stay. And by leaving it, she can be there all she wants. She's not going to get that bone. If that were a bottle of pills, she'll stop where she is on the floor, and I can pick up all of the pills. And so... This is one of the best things that we can do for our kids. And as kids, one of the best things that we can do is obey our parents. If we don't, we won't have that really long life that uh, we have, would like to have. And then also, if we can be trusted in the commandments, that means we could do other things that we would like to do. Maybe if I can trust that you won't steal or lie, um, that you can go and spend the day at your friend's house. And you would also have to honor those parents. And, and so if somebody else came in here, Daisy would have, should be able to obey all of the same commands, someone else leading them to her. So with that said, I think it's time to let Daisy have her reward. Okay. 
And so have a great day. Obey your parents and follow the commandments. It's, they're good. You, you would have a long, healthy life. And next time we'll see what happens when you can be trustworthy and obedient and take it to the next level. Have a great day.